Right now, Mount Pleasant emergency leaders are gathering data to find out whether or not masks should be required across the town. Today, News 2's Kate Prestag spoke to Mayor Will Haney, who says if it did pass, it would mainly make them required in grocery stores and pharmacies. Exactly. Mayor Haney's proposal to City Council after the data comes out would be very similar to that of Greenville's. Helping schools have a shot of being open in August and keeping businesses open now. That's what Mayor Haney says that wearing masks will do. The object here is everybody has paid a big price with, um, with the stay at home, uh, the closing of non-essential businesses and all of that. And we have paid too much of a price to now have things put in jeopardy because the one thing I want everybody to realize is when you look in the, in the news, you see these restaurants and businesses that are closing down. It's not the government closing down businesses right now, it's the virus. As for the legality of requiring masks to be worn, Mayor Haney saying they're looking into it. My reply to that, as was pointed out to me by a constituent, uh, is we require you to wear shirts in restaurants. We require you to wear shoes in restaurants. We require you to wear a hairnet if you're preparing food uh, at a deli or a restaurant. We tell you what to wear in, in those circumstances. We don't allow you to smoke in restaurants. And I remember when that first came out 20 something years ago and people said, oh, you'll never be able to enforce it. You can't round everybody up. When's the last time you saw someone smoking inside a restaurant? The mayor stressing that the decision will only come after data trends specific to Mount Pleasant are presented, but is confident in his stance for wearing a mask in public. There's a lot of social media epidemiology experts and um, I'm hearing from them that I don't know what I'm talking about, that masks don't work and all that. Well, the uh, DHEC, the South Carolina Hospital Association, the South Carolina Medical Association, and the South Carolina Office of Rural Health all endorse the wearing of masks. As for when's proposal will go in front of City Council, Mayor Haney telling me it will definitely be before their July meeting, so expect it sometime soon. In Mount Pleasant, I'm Kate Prestak, Count On Two.